So I had been having some weird symptoms and kind of uh, like pain in my stomach for quite a few years. Alyssa is a, a very pleasant young lady who has been dealing with headaches, dizziness, vertigo type symptoms that were very uh, vague. In 2019, um, I started having pretty bad like pain in my hands um, and it just started to get um, progressively worse like to the point where I was like dropping glasses and stuff because the pain was so bad and I would get really like really dizzy randomly where I'd have to like hold on to something. Prior to seeing me, she had seen many other uh, physicians to, to help diagnose her condition. She got brain imaging that showed the AVM. My neurologist explained that an AVM was basically a mass of like tangled vessels that were really um, high pressure um, because they were missing the capillaries that kept the pressure down. Um, so it was just like a ball that was like a tangled mess. A vascular malformation. It's an abnormal connection between the artery and the vein. Um, it's oftentimes congenital, meaning you're born with it. Uh, and that is what showed up on Alyssa's MRI. At the time that Alyssa called me and told me about the discovery of the AVM, I was actually in the process. I had just had the appointment to pick out her engagement ring. I didn't want her to feel like that I was only proposing because she was having a major surgery coming up. So it was an interesting predicament trying to figure out how I could still support her and encourage her and make her my wife without having her feel like I was doing it for any other reason besides that I loved her. As it was kind of a shock. You know, I was 24 at the time and you don't really expect that you're gonna find a mass in your brain. Like I know I have this like ticking time bomb in my head is what it felt like. I don't wanna feel like every time I get a headache, I'm worried that, you know, it's ruptured and something terrible is happening. The advantage that we have uh, at ANOVA, we were involved in a, a cases like this, these complex cases, we discussed in our multidisciplinary conference where there are other physicians that deal with this kind of problem all weighed in as to what are the best options for her. It was at that point where we decided that given her age and given the size and the location, a craniotomy would be the best option to afford the, the cure. And in Alyssa's case, um, we used the, the latest uh, navigation to perform our procedure. It's like a GPS system to let us know exactly the trajectory of where we're going. We were able to do what we call an intraoperative angiogram. It's a confirmatory test that when we finished, we, as we wheeled Alyssa out of the room, we were confident that the problem was gone. I'm really happy um, with my recovery from my surgery at INOVA. You know, when I was at the rehab center, I was really struggling just with very basic math problems. And today I'm able to do a four hour midterm in my graduate school program and get that done and accomplish that. And it feels, it feels really good. On our honeymoon, we were able to go scuba diving, which was something I wouldn't have been able to do with the AVM. So, you know, that's exciting. I loved it. It felt so cool. Um, and to be able to do that together with my husband was awesome. I'm so proud of being part of Inova Neurosurgery because families like Alyssa's, we're able to provide hope. It just brings me back to why I do this and why I love doing this. When I see, you know, patients like Alyssa flourish uh, after a treatment like this, it's incredible, it's an incredible feeling.